10 years of Counter-Strike has had some of esports' most memorable moments. From forfeiting a match for an illegal boost, underdogs winning a major, to some of the best plays at critical times. Picking the best play from one year is hard enough, but here's our list for plays of the decade. Upper Bracket Semi-Final. It's the first map between Evil Genius and Renegades. Breezy finds himself in a 1v4 in the pistol round. A done round. Or so everyone thought. The amount of pure skill in this clip is astonishing. Taking advantage of every little mistake made on the other side. This clutch sets the pace and the mood for the entire match. EG ended up winning the whole tournament the next day. No way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to the start of 2015. Kenny S would be considered one of the best oppers, let alone players in the world, until April 2015, when CSGO came out with the Opner, an update that had some of the best in the world having to adapt and change the new feel of the game. Dreamhack winner might not have gone MV's way, but Kenny showed us his game was as sharp as ever. He's got no help, Cole's gonna go for it, he gets the shot! Kenny, what are you doing? You've gotta be kidding, it's a clutch! Oh my god! Cloud9's underdog run all started in the Challenger stage. Most feel like Cloud9 got off easy at this stage, only having to play two streaky top teams at the time in Mouse Sports and Envy, while the other being Sprout. Although going into the Legend stage on top, most feel like Cloud9 wouldn't go any further. Sneaking through the Legend stage, barely in sixth place, got them to the final bracket, the championship stage. Here's where Cloud9 took off. They started playing like world beaters, looking determined and driven. Stewie's clutch not only saved the championship, but propelled them forward to victory. Cloud9 have done it! How have they done that? It's the grand final of IEM Katowice. The pressure's on and map three is pivotal in a best of five series. Faze are losing momentum, starting to crumble under the Swedish superstars of Fnatic. Then out of the blue, Guardian steals away a round that should have been set in stone for Fnatic. This ignited Faze, letting them get their second wind, leading them winning the next map and making for one exciting final. All five! There he is! Before we show you the top play from the decade, here's some honorable mentions that came so close to making the list. Here, he sees them down there, straight headshot, they have no idea. <laughs> Smith's looking confused and dazed, and it's gonna be a follow-up headshot on a voice now. You gotta be kidding me, takes down Kirishima as well. Two of the best teams in the world, playing on one of esports' biggest stages in the Barclays Center. Can't get any more picture perfect than this until Chris J stole the show. The final map of the grand final, it's Mirage, an equal playing field for both of these teams coming in the final stretch. Liquid went down early, and we're trying desperately to make a comeback happen. If they would have won this round, it could have turned in their favor. But of course, Chris J, the Wolf of Wall Street, claims the round and ultimately the trophy. This is the ultimate showing of raw skill, reaction time, and guts. It's a play for the ages, and it's a play that's our best from the decade. Oh my god! Chris, the Wolf of Wall Street gets an ace, and it's championship point, Mouse Sports!